Hi, I'm Karen Boniker, Painter Master, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack called Campfire. And we're going to be creating um, one of Bob Ross's really fun paintings called Campfire. And you'll notice that it's done in very, very, very bright colors. Um, and in, in fact, I'm going to bring in my reference image so you can kind of get an idea of the original painting that was done by Bob Ross and get a uh, idea of how we're going to be putting this together and some of the brushes that we're going to be using. Now in previous videos I've talked about creating a background and always starting off with something to put on that canvas to get you going. And for this I actually did the uh, gradient, interactive gradient effect and applied some texture to that by using, and let's just go ahead and select that, by using Express Paint and setting that to heavy dabs. When I captured the colors for this gradient, I used, I actually sampled colors from the original painting. So I kind of started building that, those values into the painting or the colors that I was gonna be using into the painting right away. So we're going to start from the back, and I always like to uh, encourage you to add a new layer, and that way it frees you up, gives you some flexibility to work on a layer just in case something goes wrong and you still have that nice canvas that's uh, available to you um, should you need to start over again. So the first brush we're going to be working with is called the Fire Trees, and that brush um, what we're going to do first of all is create um, the look of some trees in the background. And you can do that uh, by simply starting to build that area up. And we're going to be using uh, values that are a little bit on the uh, red and orange side. And you'll notice how easily uh, based upon that interactive gradient that we're able to actually fill this in and get those trees in. And we want those trees to have that appearance of kind of glowing in the background. So I use my Alt key quite often to sample the colors around just so I, you know, maintain some of those nice bright colors. And you can see that this brush has kind of a, a leafy appearance to it. Um, the fire uh, is going to be right about in this area so we can really concentrate some of our lightest values around that area and show the reflective quality. Um, I'll pick up some of these darker values here as well and uh, maybe pull a little bit of that into this area so we'll begin to kind of go over the, that yellow area and incorporate some darker values as we move into the foreground. And again, this brush just lays in that look of foliage for you really fast, really easy. And I'm still thinking about where my fire is going to be, where my tree will be. And I'll just keep filling in. these darker values of trees until I feel like I have a good starting point. More darker values right in here. And we'll fill in this area. And you can really see how that creates that look of foliage. I always like to tend to work from the back to the front. Keep those nice bright values around the where the fire is going to be. And keep working at this. You 
You'll notice how the lighter and the darker values really help to build the shape of the foliage and the surrounding trees. And we'll add just that little look of trees back in the distance here. We'll use the brush called Lodge Pole to create some distant um, tree trunks in the background. And uh, you can sample colors again. And this is a nice expressive brush so you can just kind of put in your tree trunks wherever you think they're working for you. And you don't have to overdo it, just, just enough to give that indication of uh, tree trunks in the background as you move back into space. The next brush we're going to use is called the Oil Brush Texturizer. And you can set this brush to pick up paper texture by enabling the dab stencil or apply dab stencil from the property bar and you can set that to paper and then of course choose one of the papers that you think uh, will work uh, well for this one. I have this one set to window frost and I like this one because it does add some nice uh, visual texture and I'm going to use my alt key again to just simply sample color and, and I'm going to begin to create the feeling of a little bit of um, the edge or a land source, land plane right around in this area. And I'll use it to texturize a little bit in the background. And we'll just sample some darker values and we'll Start thinking about where our fire is going to be, maybe right about in here. And we'll keep that land source nice and bright. Now let's create some magic and create a little bit of a feeling of water, a little nice little pond down below where our, where our fire pit's going to go. And we'll pick up the two inch blender and with reset set to 0%, we're just going to start to create a little bit of a feeling of water and a little bit of a pool down below here. You don't need a real big brush and just work either from left to right or right to left and just drag that out. We got a nice feeling of water. We'll go back to the um, oil brush texturizer and we'll work on those edges just a little bit more here. And maybe a smaller brush right around the edge of the pond. And let's go ahead and bring out a little bit more of a land plane right here. We'll go back to our two inch blender 
and notice I'm just going to pull down from the edges here and we'll create that feeling of a little bit of a reflections into the water and then we'll blend back and then down and just to the point where you feel you've got that feeling of reflective quality. If you bring your reset setting up a little bit, you can sample some of these colors and you don't have to be too strong when you put those in. And right in this foreground area, I'm going to go a little bit darker. My colors. And right along the edge here, we're going to build a little bit of an edge, which is a little darker in value as well. And we'll take that brush right down to 0% again for to blend with and we'll pull down gently and then across And we'll just create some nice little reflections in the water. Another good brush uh, to use for your reflections, if you enjoy working with the these Bob Ross brushes, digital brushes for painter, is um, in the Mystic Mountain brush category. And that one would be, and let me go to that. Sparkle on the Water, which is one of my favorites. And you can use that to cast reflections into the water. It works very, very well for that. I like to use it nice and big very soft pressure. You don't need to use a lot of pressure with this brush to get the effect you're after. Let's go back to the fire foliage and do a few more lighter values right in here to give these give this foliage a little more shape you can see how important the dark value becomes in giving the foliage that shape that you need And everything looks like it's glowing now. And that's the way we want it. We'll go to Fire Trees one more time and do a little bit of glow work there as well. Just so we have a little more popping of color in the back there. Maybe even use that to create some foliage effects on the edge of the water here. As we move away from the light source or away from the fire, we'll have darker values. 
and then lighter as we get closer to that fire and the light source. The brush we're going to use to draw our, our tree in the foreground area here, our big old tree, is going to be uh, the brush called Leaning Trees. And this is a thick paint brush, so you'll want to open up the Show or Hide Thick Paint Media Panel. And we're going to be painting with grain here. And we'll want to make sure that our grain height is somewhat up around the 90, 92 um, percent level on grain height and we'll also want to make sure we have a nice paper texture to work with. So you can certainly play with different textures here. Um, I'm going to try the new in Painter 2019, the Pine Needles 3. And we're going to begin by positioning our tree. Um, again, if you're using uh, if you're using the art pen, you can go in and work with what we call rotation and change the angle to rotation. Uh, otherwise, if you're not, go ahead and keep it at the default, which is bearing, and that will give you the same nice effect. So I'm going to take that tree and start building it up from the very top here and dragging it down. This is going to give us lots of nice texture in this tree. You have a little branch coming out that way. And you can see that it's almost like the actual texture of a tree trunk. The brush I'm going to be using next is called Thick Details. And this one, again, you can uh, use a paper texture with, and I like it because um, it just uh, emphasizes again that feeling of texture within the tree. And I can certainly work with um, different paper textures, and it gives you almost that feeling of reflective quality coming off our area where the fire is going to be, the campfire. And if you're not getting all the texture you'd like, um, be sure to look at that grain height. And if it's not high enough, then that would be the reason. And the other thing is, is when you want to build on texture with thick paint, add a new layer, add a new thick paint layer, and you can continue to build uh, upon the, the feeling of texture within that um, part of the tree that you're working on. I'll add a new layer, and on that layer, I'm going to start painting my little campfire guy sitting in front of the fire here. So let's uh, pick the brushes we're going to choose for that. And for that one, we're going to use the fine bristle brush, and we'll close the thick paint since we're not using it now. And I'm just going to begin by painting in the shape and we'll make sure we don't have any texture enabled on this. We just want to use our basic paper texture so it doesn't interfere. And a lot of this just has to do with painting in the shape, making sure that, that your shape feels like it's kind of leaning up against that tree. We'll follow the contour bring a leg up, bring a leg down. And an arm that's just resting.
Now that our cowboy sitting in front of the fire has a hat on, so let's go ahead and add that old cowboy hat. <laughs> rounded brim there. Let's zoom in a little on that. And we'll pick up a lighter value and we'll put it just on the edges so it looks like it's glowing and his face has a glow on it. And some glow on his shoulder. down the arm. just catching his face with some highlights. You don't need a lot of details here. It's just that just that feeling that he's leaning up against a tree. Hat on head little bit of light on the face and something like that. We'll pick up the fire trees again and let's actually build up a little bit of foliage back here. And down to the edge here. We're going to put our logs in now, so we'll take a little bit darker value and we'll put our campfire logs right about here. And the brush I'm using is called Fine Bristle. darker values and then just a few little highlights in there. Then we'll choose the brush called Campfire Sparks and we're going to use that brush just to create that feeling of maybe some some sparks going up. Adds a little extra magic. And then for the fire, we're going to choose Campfire Glow, and right from the right from our logs, we'll go ahead and paint in our campfire. Along the edges of the water, I've used a brush called Dried Grasses and you can just use that in kind of an up and down motion to create the look of some grasses along the edge of the water. Mm -hmm. 
The final brush I'm using here is called Golden Leaves and you'll want to sample the colors where you're going to apply this brush. So it might be good to fill in a little bit of this area where the fire is. You actually might even want to add a few more sparks into that area. This is a beautiful texture brush. And then for the final touch, I think I'm going to add a few more sparks, campfire sparks, and we'll use that nice light color there and let those run right up from the fire upwards. And maybe we want to do a look of some fireflies down here, a little extra sparkle. probably wouldn't see fireflies with this kind of fire, but I think sometimes just adding that little extra effect, you know, maybe just adding that magic to it completes the painting and, and gives you that feeling of something a little extra in there. So I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you work with, a, with the Campfire Brush Pack from Painter. Take care.